Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm so happy to have you for class today. This is one of my favorite sequences I've ever created so I'm very excited to share it with you. It will be creative, funky transitions, challenging poses, lots of heart opening, hip opening, some balancing. If you like to use a block or a strap in your practice, you can grab it. I'm not gonna use either of them, but always listen to your body and do what feels good for you. Also, there's a Spotify playlist as usual in the description. It's also one of my favorite playlists that I've created, so if you want to put it on while we practice, go ahead and put it on. And then also one small disclaimer, there is a lot of construction going on outside my studio. They're redoing the sidewalks. So I'm crossing my fingers that it's not too loud today for this class. Um, and we'll get through it without any big interruptions. All right, let's get started. We'll start in a tabletop. Hands and knees. Suck your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers, find a neutral spine to start. And we'll start with just a couple of cat cows. So on your next inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your gaze. On your exhale, tuck round. Again, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Last one like that, inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, we're gonna kick the leg up as we cow pose, we've done this one together. On your exhale, curl the knee into the nose as you cat, rounding the upper back. Inhale to lift, yes. Exhale to pull in. Last one, inhale to lift. Exhale to pull in. Next inhale, lift and stay here. Put more weight into your right hand, reach your left arm forward, and then take your left hand behind you to catch your right foot. Kick your foot into your hand, finding this tiger pose. Soft bend in the right elbow. Breathe in. Breathe out to release the left hand down. Keep the right knee bent. Next inhale, shift forward. On your exhale, keeping the knee bent, tap the chin down to the mat, and then press back up. Again, lowering down, and press back up. Last one, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Beautiful, inhale to lower. And then we're gonna slide all the way onto the belly, keep the right knee bent. From here, take the left arm out wide and then roll onto your left side, take your right foot behind you. Come down into the left side of the face, right foot will plant and then option to stay here or meet me in the bind, right hand reaches for the right foot. Kick the foot into the hand, opening through left shoulder and right shoulder. Left leg is long, big stretch for the left side. Feels good. Let's take a big breath in here and a big breath out. Next inhale, we're gonna come back through center. Option to keep this spine. So go slow and controlled, use your core. Gaze towards the top of the mat and then roll onto the belly. Now take the left hand to meet the right foot, finding this half bow shape. So hands at the ankle or the foot. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, gaze it slightly forward and then kick your foot into your hands. Lifting the chest, push into your left foot a lot here for stability. Pulling everything towards the midline. Stretching the front of the right leg. Beautiful, then gently release, keep the knee bent. Plant the hands, tuck the toes under. We're going all the way up three-legged dog. So tucking left toes, lifting the left knee and then push up through your plank. Hips high, open hip down dog. Right knee is lifting to the sky. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, keep the hips open but straighten your right leg. On your exhale, square the hips, pull your knee into your nose. Again, inhale to lift, open the hip but keep the leg straight. Exhale, pull in, knee to nose. Last one, inhale to lift and exhale to pull in. Beautiful, inhale to lift, and then exhale, right foot down. Next inhale, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees, tabletop. We'll do that on the other side. Spread the fingers, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Next inhale, we'll kick the left leg up as we cow pose, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. On your exhale, pull your knee into your chest, rounding. 
Again, inhale, kick up. Exhale, round in. Last one. Beautiful, next inhale, kick the leg up, stay. Put more weight into your left hand, reach your right arm forward. Option, stay here or find that bind. Right hand to the left foot. Kick your foot into your hand, opening up the shoulders, the front of the left leg. Core is engaged. Breathe in. Breathe out to release the right hand. Keep the left knee bent. Next, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower down. Press up. Lower down, elbows by the sides. Left knee stays bent. Lower down. Lift up. Beautiful. This time we hold it down. And then come all the way onto the belly, keeping the left knee bent. Right arm will reach out this time. Come all the way over onto your right shoulder. Left foot will plant behind you. Option to stay here or reach the left arm towards the left toes. Kick the foot into the hand, hand into to the foot. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feels so good in the front of the left leg, front of the left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next inhale, we're coming back to the belly. So option, keep the bind, or you can lose it and take the left hand down. Slow and controlled gaze towards the top of the mat. Use your core. Come all the way onto the belly. Keep the right leg strong and active, then reach the right hand behind you to your right foot, or your left foot, rather. And then kick your foot into your hands. You can flex or point the left foot, whatever feels better in your body. Squeezing shoulder blades together, half bow. Breathe in, breathe out to release. Keep the left knee bent, plant the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the right toes under, start to lift the right knee. And then we'll come all the way up, three-legged dog, open hip, left knee opens to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, keep the hip open, but straighten the left leg. On your exhale, square the hips, pull the knee into the nose. Two more like that. Inhale to open. Exhale to pull in. Last one. Inhale to open. Exhale to pull in. Beautiful. Inhale to open. Exhale. Step the left foot down. Next inhale. Roll forward. High plank. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to stand. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you, open the heart. Beautiful, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more cycles of breath. We're gonna move pretty fast in this class. So in these moments of pause, can you really soften into the moment? Let's take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sweep the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. On your next inhale, keep the arms as is, just stand up. On your exhale, now lean back, open the heart. <sighs> inhale, reach up, spine to neutral, arms lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Inhale to lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, pull your right knee to your right elbow. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale, pull in, right elbow. Can you get it to touch? One more inhale, lift. Exhale, pull in. 
and then step your right foot outside of your right hand. Take your left knee down, spin your left toes over to the right. We're setting up for a mini side angle. So right hand stays at the inside of the right foot. Left arm will lift open towards the left side of the mat. Roll your left shoulder back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Next inhale, reach your left arm by your ear. Big stretch for the left side. On your exhale, we're gonna push into the right foot to straighten it. Take the left hand down to the back of the mat. Kick the right leg towards the front of the mat, modified side angle. From here, we're moving to gate. So right foot parallel to the front of the mat. Right hand down towards the right shin, open the heart. And then back to that modified side plank. Left hand will plant, right leg will lift. Two more like that. Moving over to your gait. Back to your modified side angle. Last one. Landing in your modified side angle. Right arm by the ear, right leg is long, breathe in. Breathe out, take your right elbow to your right knee. Inhale, open out. Exhale, curl in, squeeze. Last one. Inhale, reach long. On your exhale, just pull your right knee in. Keep your right leg or your right arm long. And then we're gonna step the right foot to the back of the mat. We're in a twist. Left knee will lift, right arm will open towards the right thigh. Take a big breath in. On your breath out, dip the hips, come onto the edges of your feet and reach your right hand towards your left leg. Two more like that will flow. Inhale to lift, exhale to dip. Last one, inhale. Exhale, beautiful, inhale to the twist, exhale here. Next, inhale, open all the way up, warrior two, facing the back of the mat, right knee is bent. Breathe in, breathe out, sink low. Next, inhale, reverse, reach your right arm back. On your exhale, we're gonna turn towards a prasarita, so gaze towards your left foot, straighten your right leg, and we're gonna take a twist. So right hand will land, inhale, open your left arm towards the front of the mat. Soft bend in your elbows, soft bend in your knees, and push into the outside edges of the feet. Yes, breathe in, breathe out. Release your left hand down. Next, inhale, turn towards the top of the mat, left toes spin forward. Right toes tuck under, plant the hands. Next, inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg will lift. On your exhale, bend your knee, stack your hip. Option to stay here or move to wild thing. Left foot will step behind you. Push the hips to the sky. Reach your left arm towards the front of the room. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale, spin all the way around. One-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Beautiful, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale into your left leg. Exhale, pull your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale to lift. Exhale, pull in, can you get it to touch? One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, pull in, hold and then step your left foot outside of your left hand. Right knee will land, and then turn your right toes over to the left this time. Left hand stays at the inside of the left foot. Open up to your baby side angle. Roll your right shoulder back. Breathe in, breathe out. Such a good hip opener. Next, inhale, reach your right arm by your ear. On your exhale, we're gonna push into the left foot. Take the right hand to the back of the mat. Left leg will lift, modified side plank. And then come all the way up to your gait. Exhale to land, right hand down, left foot will lift. Again, inhale, open. Exhale to land. One more, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful landing here, reach your left arm by your ear. Exhale, pull your knee into your elbow. Inhale, open. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, now keep the arm long. Exhale, pull the left knee in and then step it to the back of the mat, spinning your right toes to face the front of the mat. Next, inhale, lift your right arm, or your left arm rather, your right leg. Find your twist. Let's take a breath in here to prepare. 
On your breath out, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet. <sighs> Love this stretch for the left glute, left IT band right here. Two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale to come through your twist. Exhale here. Next inhale, warrior two facing the back of the mat, left knee will bend. Exhale to sink low. Next inhale, reverse, reach your left arm back, big side body stretch. On your exhale, same thing, gaze towards the right foot. We're gonna come to that twist. So parallel the left foot, left hand will land, right arm opens towards the front of the mat. Roll your right shoulder back, push down into the edges of the feet, lift the arches. Breathe in, breathe out. Release your right hand, turn towards the top of the mat, bend into your right knee, tuck the left toes under. Next, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip, wild thing. Right foot plants, open the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you, push into your left leg. Inhale to transition back through one-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. All right, our foundational flow will keep building off of that. Let's breathe in here together. Breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sweep the arms up to the sky. On your exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze. Inhale to stand, keep the arms. Exhale, lean back, open the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up, spine to neutral. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float. Chaturanga, if you're jumping, bent elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take one breath in. One breath out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, hold. Then take it over to the left elbow, back to the right, left, right, keep it there. Step your right foot outside of your right hand. Take your left knee down, baby side angle, left foot spins to the right, open all the way out. Left arm goes by the ear, breathe in. Breathe out, push into your right foot. Modified side plank, right leg will lift. Inhale for your gate pose. Exhale, modified side plank. Again, inhale. Feels so good on the side bodies. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Holding here, take a big breath in. This time, bend your right knee, bend your right elbow, cactus, and then take your right hand to your right foot. Kick your foot into your hand, hand into your foot, opening the shoulder, opening the chest. Breathe in, breathe out to release. Pull your right knee into your chest, reach your right arm towards the back of the mat, and then step your right foot down. Next, inhale, open to your twist. Right hand to the sky, left knee lifts. On your exhale, dip your hips, come onto the edges of your feet. Hold here, we're going straight to wild thing, so push into your left hand. Right foot will step, slow and controlled behind you. Push into the feet, lifting the heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Next inhale, we'll transition back to that twist. Exhale here. Inhale, warrior two, open all the way up. Next, inhale, reverse. This time we're gonna find a side angle towards the back of the mat, so right forearm to the thigh, left arm by the ear, and then back to that reverse, inhale. Exhale, side angle. This time, inhale, reverse, slide your left hand behind you, half bind, hold here. Let's breathe in. Breathe out, sink a little bit lower. Next, inhale, gaze towards your left foot. On your exhale, we're going back to that twist. This time, left hand stays behind you, right hand will plant. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll your left shoulder back and open. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale. 
Next, inhale, we're gonna crawl towards the front of the mat. Keep the bind if you can. Right hand will plant, left toes spin forward. Next, inhale, we're gonna step back to a one arm down dog. So left toes go back, pushing into your right hand, hips high, breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, come forward, left hand will plant. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Next inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Hold here and then take it over to the right elbow. Back to the left, right, left, one more, right. Hold it at the left and then step your left foot outside of your left hand. Right knee will plant, spin your right toes over towards the left. Left hand is down inside of your left foot. Inhale, open to your baby side angle. Roll your right shoulder back. Right arm goes by the ear, breathe in. Breathe out, modified side plank. Left hand will lift, left leg will lift, right hand will plant. Again, inhale, gate, left foot will plant. Reach your right arm by your ear. Exhale, side angle. Again, feels so good, I love this one. Last one. Inhale to lift, exhale, meet in your side plank. Let's take the left arm by the ear, breathe in. Breathe out, cactus the arm, bend the knee. Stay here or find that clasp. Kick left foot into the left hand. Think about puffing the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in. Release on your breath out. Left knee will pull into the chest, and then we'll step it to the back of the mat for that twist. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee. Breathe in. Breath out, dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet. Same thing, we're going a wild thing from here, so push into your right hand, slow and controlled step. Left foot back behind you, left arm reaches towards the back of the mat. Big heart opener, feels so good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale to transition. Stay for the exhale in your twist. Inhale, open warrior two, facing the back of the mat, left knee is bent. Exhale here. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, full side angle, left forearm to the thigh. Again, inhale, reach back. Exhale, full side angle. This time, reach back, take your right hand behind you into your left hip crease. And then same thing, we're gonna look towards the right foot, we're coming to that twist. So we'll parallel the left foot, left hand comes down underneath you, in your prasarita legs, roll your right shoulder back. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, and exhale. Next inhale, we're walking towards the front of the mat, so turn the right toes to face forward, left hand will plant, stepping it back to a one arm down dog. Really push into your left hand, right foot steps back, hips go high, breathe in, breathe out. Next inhale, come forward, plant the right hand, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Big breath in, big breath out, let it go. We'll do that one more time, adding on a few more sequences. Next, inhale, if your heels, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale to stand, keep the arms. Exhale, lean back, find your back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up, spine to neutral. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Next, inhale, take your right leg to the sky, three-legged. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, option to stay, or ekapada. Take your right knee to your right arm and then straighten your right leg out, lean forward, lift your left leg. Haven't done this one in forever. Gaze forward, try to lift the face. And then we'll meet back, three-legged dog, right leg lifts. 
Exhale, step it outside of the right hand. Full side angle this time, spin the left heel down. Right hand is planted inside of the right foot. Inhale, open your left arm. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Next, inhale, reach your left arm by your ear. On your exhale, right hand will plant at the outside of the mat. Moving into half moon, so lift off of the left foot. Right leg stays planted. Stack your hips, left hip on top of right. Left arm is lifting to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, reach the left arm long. Exhale, pull your left knee to your left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull in. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale to extend, exhale, cactus the arm, cactus the leg, and then take your left hand to your left foot, chapasana. Kick your foot into your hand, soft bend in your right knee, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, flip the grip, so take the left hand to the inside of the left foot if it isn't already there. We're coming all the way up to dancer, so soft bend in the right knee, Inhale to stand, keeping the bind if you can. Reach your right arm forward and then kick your left foot into your left hand. Roll your right shoulder back slightly. Core is engaged. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. On your exhale, we're coming out the same way we came in. Right hand will plant, keep the bind if you can. And then gently release the bind. Half splits, keep the left knee bent. Breathe in, breathe out, pull your left knee behind your right. I meant standing splits. Inhale, lift it, knee stays bent. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more, inhale to lift. Exhale, pull in Shiva. All right, holding here for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out, slide your left knee all the way down. We're transitioning to the back of the mat. So same way we have been. We'll spin left foot, or left hand rather, to the back of the mat, kick the right leg towards the front of the mat, modified side plank. Breathe in, breathe out, pull your right knee into your chest, step your right foot to the back of the mat, you're in your twist. Inhale to lift the left knee, lift the right arm. Exhale to dip the hips, come onto the edges of the feet. Option stay here, or if you want one more wild thing, push into your left hand, right foot will step behind you. Lifting the heart to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to transition. Back to that twist. Right foot will plant. Exhale here. Inhale, warrior two. Open all the way out. Right knee is bent. Stay for the breath out. Beautiful. Inhale, reverse. Find that half bind. Left hand to the right inner thigh. On your exhale, we're gonna find a full twist now. We're gonna take the left hand to the, or the right hand rather, to the left ankle at the front of the mat. Drop your head and then roll your left shoulder back. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, this feels so, so good. Exhale. So right hand is at the left ankle, left hand is at your right inner thigh. One more breath in. Breath out. Next inhale, gaze forward. Plant the right hand. Turn the left toes to face forward. Same thing, we're gonna step back to a one arm down dog. So push into your right hand, step your left foot back. Option, stay here or start to lift the right leg, bend the right knee, and then take the left hand to the right foot for tiger dog. Kick foot into the hand, hand into the foot. Glue your left heel into the mat and really push into your right hand. This one is a hard one. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, release. You can keep your right leg long. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Awesome job, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, pull your left knee to your left elbow. Option to stay, or if you want to play, into that ekapada, kundanyasana, lifting, right leg. Push into the hands, chaturanga arms. 
We'll meet three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step left foot outside of left hand, full side angle this time. Roll your right heel down. Left hand stays at the inner left foot, and then lift your right arm to the sky. Beautiful, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here, opening up the hip, the inner thigh. Next inhale, reach your right arm by your ear, big stretch. And then take your left hand to the outside edge of the left foot. Now we're moving to half moon, so lift off of the right foot. Reach your right arm to the sky once you get there. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean back. Yes. Next inhale, reach your right arm by your ear. Exhale, pull in, elbow to knee. Two more, inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach, exhale this time, bend the arm, bend the leg, and then find your chapasana. Kick your right foot into your right hand, roll your right shoulder back. Soft bend in your left knee, breathe in, breathe out. And then transition to the other clasp, so taking the right hand to the inside of the right foot now for dancer. Bend into your left knee, gaze is forward, and then next inhale, start to stand. You're in your dancer. Option to lose the bind on the way and come back to it. Square the hips towards the front of the mat. Chest is broad, and then kick. Right foot into the right arm, right hand. Breathe in. Same way we came in, on our breath out, slow, lower to that chapasana, left hand will plant. And then release, keep the right knee bent, plant the right hand, standing splits. Let's breathe in here. Breathe out, bend into both knees, tap the right knee behind the left. Again, inhale to kick the leg up. Exhale, pull it in. Again, inhale, kick up. Exhale, pull in, hold. All right, we're transitioning. So we're gonna slide the right knee all the way to the mat. Spin towards the back of the mat, right hand will plant, left foot kicks to the front of the mat for your side plank. Breathe in, breathe out, pull the left knee into the chest and then step your left foot forward or towards the back of the mat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee or in your twist. Breathe in, breathe out, dip the hips, clench the edges of the feet. Option to stay here or step your left foot back, wild thing. Reach the left hand towards the back of the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next inhale to transition. We'll go back through that twist. Exhale here. Inhale, open all the way up, warrior two, facing the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse, right hand behind you into your left hip crease. All right, to that full twist now. We're gonna straighten the left leg, turn towards the right leg, left hand, right ankle. Drop the head down, breathe in. Breathe out, twist. Rolling the shoulders back. Two more cycles of breath here, should feel good. Again, think about pressing the outside edges of the feet down. Beautiful, and then the next inhale, we're gonna walk it forward, so release the grip of the left hand to plant it. Turn your right toes to face forward, bend into your right knee, we'll step back. One arm down dog, right hand is behind you. And then really push into your right heel, option. Lift the left leg, bend into the knee, and then take right hand to meet the left foot. Press into your right heel a lot here for stability. Kick your foot into your hand once you get there. Gaze at one point. And then next inhale, we'll release. You can keep the left leg long for your chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Beautiful, breathe in. Breathe out, let it go. Next inhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat. Exhale, heel toe the feet together, big toes touch. Inhale to slide your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, puff up your heart. On your exhale, fold over your legs, chest expansion. Feels so, so good. 
Roll the shoulders down the back, let the head drop. And then try to walk the heels of the hands together. Soft bend in the knees. You're gonna shake the head out a few times here. Beautiful, then gently release, or actually keep the bind. We're gonna to come to a halfway lift. We've done this transition before, I think. Where we're going, try to keep the thighs and the belly glued to one another. Start to bend into the knees, eventually lifting the heels, coming into a little squat. Arms go to your low back. From here, we're gonna slow and control, drop the knees at the same time. Inhale to stand up on the knees. On your exhale, lean back, find a baby camel. Inhale, spine will go back to neutral, keep the arms. Exhale, sit the heels back, or sit the glutes back on the heels. And then we'll lift the knees, try at the same time, and then fold over the legs, back to that bound forward fold. We'll do that two more times. So inhale to find sort of a halfway lift. Exhale to bend into the knees. Heels will lift. Dropping the knees. Press the hips forward. And then exhale to lean back. Inhale, spine to neutral. Exhale, sit the heels back. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, fold over your legs. One more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sit the hips back. Inhale, lift the knees. One more time, exhale, fold. Beautiful, now release the fingers. Taking them all the way down, taking your feet as wide as the mat, heels in, toes out. Let's sit into a malasana at the back of the mat. Hands come to your heart center. Press your heels into the mat as you think about lifting the crown of the head to the sky. Roll your shoulders down your back body and then press your knees away from you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful, from here. Next inhale, left hand will go down in front of your left foot. Inhale to open your right arm to a little twist. Option to stay here or start to wrap your left hand behind you into your left hip, maybe taking the right arm to meet it. So lots and lots of chest and shoulder opening. Beautiful. Option to stay here or if you want to play, heel toe your right foot towards the center of the mat. We're gonna come up to a bound bird of paradise sort of shape. So we'll start to Pull the left foot in, and then on your inhale, straighten your right leg and lift yourself up. So you're still leaning forward. You have that bind. Left knee is in at the left elbow. Right foot is straight, and you're leaning forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try to come down the same way we came in, bending into the right knee. And then we'll heel toe the feet wide. Come back to your malasana. That one is a tricky one. I don't know if you can hear how much my knees are cracking, but they are. All right, we're gonna take the right hand down this time. Right hand in front of the right foot. Inhale, open your left arm out. Option to stay here or start to work your right arm behind you into your right hip crease. Maybe take left hand to meet it. And then again, you can stay here opening up the shoulders or heel toe the left foot in, heel toe the right foot in a little bit. And then we'll come up to stand, so stay leaning forward. Start to lift, soften the bottom knee. Right knee is in at the right shoulder. Core is engaged. And then coming out the same way. We came in, meeting in Malasana one more time. Heels in, toes out, hands to heart. Breathe in. Breathe out, fold over your legs. Beautiful, shake it out a couple times. Should feel good to keep the legs straight now. Feeling the blood rushing around. Beautiful, and then on your next inhale, walk it forward, all the way to a high plank. Exhale, lower to your belly. Untuck the toes. Next inhale, reach the arms forward. We'll take a couple more back bends. 
On your exhale, really push into your feet. Next, inhale, think about lifting just the upper body. So arms are long, shoulders rolling back. Option to stay here or lift the feet as well. Squeezing your glutes, squeezing the whole posterior chain. This is so good for posture. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, cactus the arms, bend the knees. On your exhale, hands to the feet for bow. Inhale to kick, feet into hands. Again, opening up the chest. You're so ready for this. We've done a lot of this action. Roll the shoulder blades in. Try to lift the thighs. Beautiful, then gently release. Take the hands down, tuck the toes under. We're gonna sit the hips back into a puppy pose. So knees stay wide, arms reach forward and then drop the belly down. So gently starting to bring the spine back to neutral. So we're still in a little bit of a back bend here, but you should feel it lengthen your lumbar spine. And then from here, let's untuck the toes, take the feet together, slide all the way back to a child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Next, inhale, slide your right arm underneath you, come onto your right shoulder. Right side of the face will lay onto the mat. So this is the opposite action from what we've been doing. Should feel good in the back of the shoulder, back of the heart. And then release, right arm long, switch. Left shoulder goes down. Come onto the left side of the face. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale, reach your left arm forward. Exhale to sink into your legs. Inhale, we'll come all the way up and then sweep the feet forward, however you get there. I'll take a forward fold. I am sweaty. All right, keep a bend in the knees to start. Flex the toes back. Inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. Think about growing taller. And then on your exhale, glue your belly to your thighs as you fold over the legs, taking hold anywhere along the legs. Next, inhale, think about halfway lift. So reach the crown of the head forward and the tailbone up towards the sky. And then exhale, fold over the legs, dropping the head, stretching a posterior chain or back body. way up. On your exhale, lower onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Once you arrive, give yourself a squeeze. You could rock a few times, circling out the low back. Both directions. And then keep your right knee in. Straight, straight, straighten your left leg long. Oh no. And then exhale, twist. Right knee over to the left. Reach your right arm out, glue your right shoulder into the mat and feel this twist. And then we'll just switch sides, knees come back into the chest. Right leg long this time, left knee in, breathe in here. Breathe out to twist, left knee over to the right, gaze towards the left. Press your left shoulder into the mat. Breathe deeply. And then next in breath, come back through center, draw the knees into the chest one final time, and then release into the Shavasana shape of your choice. So feet together, knees wide, maybe legs stretch long, whatever feels good. Hands can rest on the body, they can rest by your sides. Once you arrive in your final rest, slide your shoulders down your back gently. Tuck your chin into your chest gently. Sometimes at the end of class, it's harder to talk. That yoga bliss. 
All right, so back of the neck is long. Our shoulders are soft on the mat. And then allow yourself to just soften. And know that it might take a minute or two to fully soften. It's okay, you have the time, you have the space that you created on your mat today to simply be. So knowing that all you have to do in this moment is breathe. Staying present in the physical sensation of the body, of the breath. And allowing any distractions in the mind to float by. So acknowledging their presence and then letting them go without attachment. And we're in Shavasana, we are allowing the nervous system to reset, especially after physical movement or a workout. It is so important to find a little bit of stillness before we make our way into the rest of the day. Take a deep breath in, I fall all the way up. Deep breath out, let it go. Again, big breath in. Big breath out. One more, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale to reach the arms overhead, stretch the legs long. Exhale to roll to one side, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Keep the eyes closed just for a moment. Sit up nice and tall, hands to your heart center. One more moment of stillness, of silence here with yourself. Noticing how you feel, knowing that you created that feeling, you made time to create that feeling. And as always, can you find some gratitude for that, for having a healthy body, and anything else that comes up in the mind right now that you're grateful for? Let's take a deep breath in together, fill all the way up. Deep breath out, let it go. Draw your hands to your forehead. Together we say, namaste. Awesome job today. I hope you enjoyed that class as much as I did. Please let me know if you did in the comments. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. And as always, give me suggestions. Um, whatever you want to see, I will try to make happen for you. As always, you can join my Afterglow Studio seven day free trial for all new members. I would love to have you. I'll put all the info in the description and I will see you in my next video. Bye.